Okay, so we're back on. Oh, Olivia used the laptop and went from the FB like, okay. So, hi, we're, we're here. We're actually going to do this now. Okay. Um, so, we're going to go over a couple of like housekeeping things, like stuff that's actually just going on with the company. And then um, Tom is asking, what's the topic are we going to talk about? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. But I have listened to some really good podcasts this week. So, I was like, self think, not this week, last week. And, and it came to me. So, anyway. Before we get rolling on all of this, I just want to make sure that everyone saw on Dream Team that I made a post at 7 a.m. this morning, and it is your submittal post for the leader retreat. If you are working for the leader retreat, even if you don't, like, let's say you had a complete wash and nothing happened last week, still put something in the submittal. Because if you don't put anything in there, like if you just put in there incomplete, but you still show me something that you're still in the running, you'll still be in the running. If you don't post anything today and I don't, then I, I won't know. I'll think that you don't want to be a part of it. Um, so it says right on there what to post, what to share, all that stuff, what screenshots to use. Um, so please make sure you tell your teams that if they want to try to earn the leader retreat, even if they didn't get anything done the first week, we still have, how many weeks we have? 11 weeks left. I think it was 12 weeks total. Anyway, so that post went up today. Um, and thank you for all of you that already did put something in there for me. And also double triple, you guys, we are still in double triple. We still have quite a bit of time with double triple. Um, if anyone is struggling with double triple or has questions about double triple, put it in the chat right now, because we'll try to go over some of that, why we can, why we're all together. Um, and I think that, I can see somebody else trying to get in. I'm sorry. I'm disheveled. Okay, she's dealing with it. Oh, no, that, okay. All right. Um, so I think that is, let me see my notes. Yeah, that's all we have like housekeeping wise. So keep your eye on the price for double triple. If you're sitting here right now and you're like, it's already the 17th, I haven't done any double triple. You guys, you can hit double triple in a day. You can do that. You just have to keep sending out the messages. You have to keep reaching out to people. Um, and please remember, I had this conversation with Lisa Cook earlier today, calling out Lisa. Um, sometimes you're going to have promoters who are people who do the deal, right? They do the deal. They want the discount. They're going to go for it. I encourage you to put them in dream team, even if they've sworn up and down, they don't want to promote, put them in dream team and then let them know, Hey, I just added you to the official promoter group. This is because as a promoter, you are eligible for different incentives that you will not see anywhere else unless you're on that page. You can mute the group. They don't have to check all, they don't have to pay attention to all the notifications and all that stuff, but they're at least in there. So if I throw out a team promo or somebody throws out a team promo or we get some information about a new product, they're in that group. Also, how many of you on here said, I don't want to promote? And now you're promoting, right? So give them the opportunity to be in Dream Team, to get a feel for the community, to, to see what's happening and learning and let them know, I added you because you're eligible for things and this is the only place you're gonna see it. Mute the group, whatever, check in every blue moon if you want. You, you can turn off notifications, but just make sure they're in there and then give them a shout out and just flat out say, this is my friend, Bob. He took advantage of the double triple special we were running. He does not have any intentions of promoting, but his order is on the way and I wanted him to be in here. And so blah, blah, blah. Um, use the dream team, like use that. Like you guys know, or at least I think, you know, like when you're in dream team and we're giving people shout outs and we're doing fun stuff like a leader retreat or a, a giveaway or something like that, like that's a fun atmosphere. So share that with people, even if they don't want to promote. I am the first person I swore up and down. I was not going to promote. And here we are. So never count someone out. Um, and like, and if they hate it, they can always pull themselves out of the group, but they don't, they can't put themselves in it and they won't know about it if you don't put them in there. So I just encourage you to do that. Okay. All right. So I'm not seeing any questions pop up about double triple. So everyone on here feels pretty good with double triple right now, or you just don't want to ask questions. All right. Um, and any questions about the leader retreat? It's pretty Everyone feel good with that too? Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and move into like my topics, but if you think of something, feel free to pop in and ask a question. Um, so one of the um, podcasts that I was listening to last week is it was called Billionaire Energy. And it's by this lady, Kayla Craft. What is her 
Mommy Millionaire, I think is the name of her. I should have wrote this down so it was ready. Yeah, Mommy Millionaire. She made her millions with Isagenix a long time ago and then actually got out of network marketing and she does like life coaching and I don't know, whatever billionaires do. And then now she's actually dabbling back in with some network marketing again. So it's been interesting to see that shift with her, like following her on Instagram and stuff and following her podcast. But she was talking about billionaire energy and she is very open about the fact that, oh, Lisa, yay, good job. Um, she was very open about the fact that even though she coaches people, she still hired a coach. She still wanted someone to pour into her, which I think is something that we all need to remember. Like if you want to be able to pour into people, that's why we talk about self-development all the time. Like you can't help your team if you're not helping yourself first, right? So she was talking about how here she was, um, a millionaire at this point, a millionaire in her career. What was her name? Her name is Kayla, but it's spelled kind of funny. The podcast is Million Mommy Millionaire. Let me see if it has her name on here. Oh, oh. I don't know what happened there. Um, I will look it up, but it's Kayla Craft and Mommy Millionaire. So she was talking about how when she was talking to her coach as a millionaire, talking to her business coach about how this was hard and this was a struggle and that was hard and this was hard. And she was like, really, she was as a millionaire struggling with her business. And I keep saying as a millionaire, because I know a lot of you people look at like Maria or you look at like Susan or you look at Brittany and you're like, oh, they're millionaires. Like, they still struggle. They still have, you know, trouble. And she said her coach looked her dead in the eye. And I want you all to hear this with all your heart. She said, the reason things are hard for you as a millionaire is because you are meant to be a billionaire. Think about that. If you are sitting here and you're making hundreds and you're like, this is hard. It's because you are meant for more. If you're making thousands and it's hard, you are meant for more. And I want you to really truly think about that before you started selling thrive and being a promoter. I bet I would be willing to bet at some point, one of you or all of you said, you know what, if I make 50 extra bucks, that'd be cool. That'd be fun. If I had a little extra spending money, that'd be fun. But here you are, you didn't stop at the spending money, right? You didn't just take your 30 or 40 bucks and I don't know, tuck it away or, or do something with it. You like, you got a taste of it and you got a, you got a feel for the business and you started to see yourself in the business and you started to see yourself growing and you realized, oh, thank you, Laura. I knew it was spelled not with a K. Um, you are meant for more. So I want you to keep that in mind. Like I actually kind of, I've just kept repeating it to myself actually, because it's such a, um, it's a mind shift. It's a mindset shift, I should say. So, you know, I, I know uh, there are so many who are like, oh, wow, we watched them walk on the millionaire stage at Thrive Palooza. Oh my gosh, wow. And there are some people who walked across that stage and their business is easy and that's where they're happy and that's where they belong. And there are some people walking across that stage and they are still struggling with different things. It's because they are meant for more. Does this make sense to you guys? Do you, under, do you understand what I'm talking about, where I'm coming from? Because I think a lot of times people are like, well, if I could just hit 12K, if I could just hit 40K, if I could just, if I could just, and then, and then you get there and you're not happy. It's because you're meant for more. Hang on. Hey, Tom, I need to, can you help with radar? Go to daddy. He knows daddy doesn't really like him. Come on, let's go. Go with daddy. Thanks, Tom. Tom's taking one for the. This has been the funniest Zoom from start to finish. We we're not even close to finishing. This is, noches. He says Buenos noches. He's he's ready for Mexico already. Um, just added that to the whiteboard. Yeah. So so think about that when you're struggling. It's I don't know. I just always have this thing like when stuff starts getting really easy. That's I feel like when stuff comes easily, when things are falling into place, they're meant to be. But when you're struggling, it's you're not yet where you're meant to be. So keep that in the back of your mind. Like it's almost like embrace the struggle because it proves that you are made for more. You are meant for more. If you were, if you hit 12K and your life has been a freaking breeze ever since and you're able to keep your 12K, no problem. And it's just hunky freaking dory. You're probably pretty happy and you're, you're probably right where you belong. But if you've hit 12K and you are like, holy crap, am I ever going to hit that again? I, I don't know what this month's going to be like. I, 
I mean, we've all been there. You're like 48 hours left and you need $2,000 and you're, it's like pulling teeth. It's because you're meant for more, not because you're meant to quit, not because you're meant to give up. It's because you're meant for more, but you are mentally stopping yourself because you just think you're meant for 12K. You just think you're meant for, some of you think you're just meant for 200K. Do you know that just because you hit 200K doesn't mean your life gets easy? Things don't come, like there are 200Ks, you don't have any money. You gotta go for what you are truly meant for. So keep that in mind. I just thought that was like, so, I don't know. I was just driving and listening and I was like, oh, that just hit me so hard. Like it doesn't matter where you are. If it's a struggle, you, you've got to keep going because you've got to get to where you're supposed to be. Um, and then another thing that they talked about, I don't think this was her, this was something different I listened to. I'll have to think of it, but um, it kind of goes back to some of that, like the comparison where like, maybe you saw somebody walk on stage and you were like jealous or you're like, oh, huh, that's a beautiful red dress and fake boobs, whatever millionaire, like, come on, you guys all know these things go through your head when you see that chick in her beautiful outfit and she's strutting across the stage and you're like, whatever. <laughs> She blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Like we know, I know all the things that go through my head and I'm sure they go through your head because it's, it's that evil little deep down inside jealousy that comes out and you're like, well, I bet I could be on stage too. If my husband was a doctor and, um, I just worked out all day, I know whatever, you know, whatever goes through your mind. But, um, the thing I was reading was talking about when you have those feelings, you only feel that way because what you're seeing is a reflection of what you know you're meant to do. So think about that. If, if I had brought someone to Thrive Palooza with me that didn't sell Thrive, um, had no intention of selling Thrive, didn't even use the product, could care less. Um, maybe they were like an engineer for a car company and that's what they like to do. But, I, but they sat there with me. When they watched those people go across the stage, they wouldn't have thought any of that. Right? They wouldn't have been like, oh, well, she's only up there because of this. Or she's only up there because of that. That never would have even crossed their mind because it's not meant for them. It's not a reflection. They're not seeing what they, they're not seeing a reflection. My stupid husband and Noah, <laughs> they're not seeing a stupid or stupid. They're not seeing a reflection of their desires in front of them. So they don't have anything to, to feel in the moment. But when you're seeing that, so when you see someone hit 12K, like I let, Olivia did a, a huddle for a different team the other night. And she was so honest about the fact that when she saw other people hitting 12K, she was like, damn, I wanted to hit 12K. How are you hitting 12K? You just, you start getting jealous. And instead of accepting that, you know what? I'm jealous because that's what I want. And that's what I meant to have. And I'm just not there yet. You start saying things like, well, it's because either this person has all these advantages or it's because I have all these disadvantages. You immediately separate yourself from what you're seeing. Is that making sense? Oh, Natasha says that's in the chapter I just read in Hello Fear. What is Hello Fears? Hello Fears, is that on Audible? No joke, for real. Do you know Hello Fears? Hello Fear, I'm writing it down. Uh, it's a great book, probably. Okay, I'm all about Audible. I'm still waiting for one of you. Uh, Shantae, you said today you finished Jason's book. I'm going to need you to read it out loud, record it, and send it to me, please. Because I was like, oh, I want to read it too. But then I like could picture myself sitting in a chair reading it. And I was like, that's not going to happen. I just already know that about myself. So hopefully he gets on board and he does Audible version soon. But so anyway, I just think it's so important to think about I mean, there's like, I don't know, we're all, we're, is TJ on here? I was gonna say, we're all girls. Pretty much all girls, unless someone's watching the replay and his name's TJ. We grow up always wanting to be prettier, to be thinner, to be smarter, to be better, to be the winner. And we're constantly comparing ourselves to someone else. Like, right, am I right? Do you not constantly compare yourself to somebody else? And it just becomes part of life. And so somebody does great, and three people are mad about it. So those three people kind of gang up on the person who just had something great. Instead of supporting the person, instead of being excited for the person, they start nitpicking that person. Well, she this and she that, right? That is accepted. Like that is just accepted as normal. What we have to do is step out of that and start to see what's really happening. You can only be jealous of something 
that you truly want and that you truly are meant to have. You all, I don't know if I'm making any sense, but when you see someone hold up a 200K sign, if you're like, that is so uh, good for them, good for them. I'm, I'm gonna go plant some flowers this afternoon. Maybe it's not meant for you. But if you see that and you're like, oh, I want that. I've been trying to get there. I'm working on that. That's just another sign in, inside of your body, in your brain, that that is what you're working for. You are meant for more. I feel like there's a whole book. Like, what was that girl's name? You're meant for more. There's a whole book. But anyway, I, I want you to start trying to understand what you're feeling when you're feeling it. So a lot of times we're going to feel jealousy, right? We're going to feel sad. Maybe somebody promotes quicker than we did or somebody, or, may, or maybe, maybe somebody promotes and we feel like they got more attention. You know, may, maybe in the moment, it seemed like it was a bigger deal for that person than it was for me two days ago, right? Like you're seeing things. Well, maybe it's because there's a really a big celebration coming for you further ahead that you're just not there yet with. You are inside my head. Oh, well, hmm, girl, I'm glad. Because seriously, Tom's asked me three times, what's your topic? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Some Mondays I'm like a deer in headlights. Um, well, I definitely want you to listen to that podcast and I'll make sure I send it or figure out a way to send you the information of that podcast. But um, yeah, so you only see the world as you see it. No one else sees it the same way you do. So when you are jealous or you are upset about something or you are sad about something, it's because that's what you are seeing. That's the reflection of you in that situation. So for example, um, let's say, now Natasha, you hit 12K, right? Yes, Natasha hit 12K. Maybe you guys were like, oh wow, Natasha hit 12K. She's only been here like a year and I've been here for four. And you start doubting yourself. You only know how amazing and important and, and great it is that Natasha hit 12K because you know that's what you're meant for. If you did not care or 12K wasn't meant for you, it wouldn't matter. You'd be like, oh, good for that Natasha girl. She hit that 12K thing, whatever that means, right? But you felt it. You felt like, oh, I want to be there. So when you are feeling those things, it's okay to have feelings and be human. I'm not going to tell you not to have all that, but just remember, oh, you know what? The only reason I feel that way is because that's meant for me. I'm going to put my head back down and get focused on what's meant for me. Because remember, if it's hard where you're at, it's because you're meant for more. If it's hard as a 4K, it's because you're meant for 12K. If it's hard as a 200K, it's because you're meant for the millionaire stage. But if you, if you have a woman in business who has succeeded so well that she's a, like a multimillionaire, not yet a billionaire, multimillionaire, and she is still like, ah, this is hard. This is hard. Why would she stay in it if she wasn't meant for more? She could easily have tapped out and be like, you know what? I'm a multimillionaire. I'm feeling pretty good about myself. I've got several houses, a couple cars, few pools, no bills. But if you're still working for it, it's because you it is meant for you. So when you have that, that I want to quit, I want to give up, this sucks you're at the right spot. Like you're right where you belong. Like that's, that's your sign to keep going, to not give up on yourself. Cause it means something to you. It's what's out there for you. Let me check my stuff here. Okay. Um, any comments, any questions, anybody want to chime in? You can unmute, you can raise your hand. What all that, I don't want to be the only one talking. Is this helping? Am I in anyone else's head besides Sonia's? <laughs> Sandra's like, yes, yes. <laughs> Because I want to get my 40K back and I want to get to 80K. But I, I know that jump from 40 to 80K is like. Totally doable. It boggles the crap out of my mind. You know, considering the fact that I didn't even know yesterday you should move your phone for a boomerang. You're learning I mean, something new every day. Edie says, yes, I'm stopped right now. Can't, oh, Candace has her hands up. Okay. All right. And so I just, I'm going to address like being stopped. We're going to, you're going to always have bumps in the road. You're going to have ebbs and flows. Um, I mean, you guys, I look at the PPA report for our, for the entire team all the time. And I'm like, ah, some days I'm like, yes, I'm at the top. That's where I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to lead the team. And then some days I'm like, oh my Lord, I'm like really close to the bottom. <laughs> and it just ebbs and flows and it ebbs and flows. And you have to know when you're down 
and you're feeling stuck and you're feeling stopped, the only way, like what is it, an object in motion stays in motion, an object at rest stays at rest. If you're stopped and you're choosing to stay stopped, that's where you're going to stay. Sometimes you have to kick yourself in the butt. And again, I've said this before and I'll say it again. We don't have a hard job. Okay. I'm not, I'm not cutting open anyone's brain and saving their life. I'm not climbing a pole in a snowstorm, trying to get a whole town back to electricity. I am just having conversations on social media, sometimes with total strangers, like, and they pay me for that. Right. So if you're feeling stuck or you're feeling stopped, just say, and this is, and Sandra taught me this a long time ago, set a timer. I have 10 minutes. And for the next 10 minutes, I'm going to do nothing but send out messages. It will start. It'll start you back up. It's like the first time you start the engine. It's cold, right? And you, like you fired it up and it's like, doo, 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 doo. like you got to do that to yourself. You just set the timer and go. Um, so really quick, the last four minutes, something else that I kind of got, I don't think it was this podcast from Kayla, but it was, I don't know. I heard it on one of her podcasts because I used her promo code. There is a company, it's an online company, and I'm going to spell it all out. It's called SOAK. It's S-O-A-A-K. So S-O-A-A-K.com, SOAK.com. So don't laugh. But, and I think I talked about this a little bit yesterday with like how like music can really affect you. Like, you know, like when your song comes on, you start to feel amazing. Or maybe that one song comes on and you're like, oh, this was you know, my best friend's favorite song and I haven't seen her in forever. And, you know, it makes you want to cry, like different sounds. Like, so that's a song. If you break it down, that's just different sounds put together. Right. So there's actually different, different sounds have different frequencies and we are as weird as it is just cells bouncing around. I'm all grouped together. Like I'm tight, right? Like you can see me, I'm tight, but I'm just nothing but, but cells grouped together. And we operate off of frequencies. Hang with me. Please don't think I'm crazy. Anyway, soak is based off of the whole idea that you can reset your frequency by listening to different sounds, different frequencies. And I promise there's science behind it. But anyway, you know how we talk about our I am's and how that like just the process of saying your I am's and saying them out loud, repeating them, feeling them, that can like change your, men your mental state. Well, soak actually has a thing where you can go on. Let me see. I can get on here right now you can go on and you can um, pick what frequency you need. So for example, um, hit my button. They have a frequency for anti-anxiety, energy, high vibrations, sleep well, depression relief, focus, memory support, mood boost. It, I mean, there's a ton, there's a ton. Success, business, blah, blah, blah. So I heard about it on that podcast and I was like, I don't know. And I, and you guys, I am cheap. I'm not even lying. I am cheap. So I got on and I started looking and there was, I forget, there was like the lowest plan and you only got like a few frequencies to pick from. And I was like, well, I'm not going to do that because that's not any good. And then I looked at the most expensive plan. And I'm like, well, hey, I'm not going to pay that for it, but that has everything to pick from. And then as the podcast came to a close, <laughs> they were like, if you use the promo code mommy, you can get the whole big thing for one month for the price, the lower price. So I want to say, I think it was like $11 or something, maybe. I don't know. But I struggle sometimes to do it because it comes to you twice a day, it comes to you in the morning and at night. It will come to you with an affirmation and just a link to the frequencies where you can go in and do the frequencies. So like I got an affirmation tonight at 6 p.m. It says, I have enough energy to accomplish anything and everything I desire. What they suggest is that you repeat the affirmation or your own affirmation while you're listening. There's only been once or twice I've actually been able to, again, I can't sit, I don't sit still well. Um, where I've like sat down, closed my eyes, listened and repeat, like repeat, repeat, repeat. Um, what is, oh yeah, I'm gonna type this in. Um, so I don't know for sure if I'll stick it out after the first month because, there we go. Oh, thank you, Sonia. Um, because I just know myself, but I am trying. I think I'm only like a week or so in. But the other thing that you can do if you choose the big bundle, but you use the code mommy and you pay a lot less is that Kayla craft girl has a specific 21 day where for 21 days you get a message from her and she just talks about different things about business and mindset and blah, blah, blah. And then there's two 20 minute affirmations. One is money affirmation. And the other one is I forget, but they're kind of 
they're kind of funky and weird because like she's saying oh, like there's music in the background and there's a vibration if you really listen you can kind of hear the different tones but she's saying things like I you know I attract wealth money likes me and I like money I earn you know, like she goes on and on and on but she's very calm and says anyway these are just some different things to use if you are struggling with your mindset that is the biggest thing that's going to get in your way in life but especially in business and so if that is something you're struggling with I encourage you to check this out the code to save all the money is mommy m-o-m-m-y um I'm sure she gets some sort of kickback from it but whatever and I I don't know like when I listen to a podcast and I get something really, really good from it, then I'm willing to like dive in and try something else. And so it was from that podcast that I started listening to some of these soaps and I struggle with affirmations. I know I tell you guys to do them all the time and I'll be like, I'm going to do my affirmations and I get one or two in and then I'm like, oh, the dog peed. I got to clean that up. And like one or two affirmations. I'm like, oh, I got to run the dishwasher. Like I just, it's called ADHD is what it's called, but I struggle with it. So having that on my phone and even like the other day, I was just folding clothes, just listening to it. And I'm like, I'm sure I'm absorbing this somehow, right? I'm getting, I'm at least getting something versus nothing. So if that's something you're interested in, try it. I, it's, I've li actually liked it. And you know, I'm all about like books on tape, podcasts, like YouTubes, whatever. If you are a pen to paper, eyeball on paper, you might not like it. I don't know, but it's worth trying. How do you find all the cool podcasts? Um, I have an app called Stitcher and there's lots of different apps that you can get podcasts from, but I feel like almost everybody has a podcast these days. So you can go into Stitcher and like just search mindset or business or whatever. But also if there are people that you follow, um, like on Instagram or something, like if there's somebody that you've you know been following on Instagram and you think they're awesome, maybe they're in network marketing from a different company um, and never be afraid to follow those people. Like you can learn, like, I don't follow everybody from all the companies, but if somebody's like a multimillionaire in network marketing, I'll follow them and see what they have to offer. Usually anyone who's a millionaire or beyond will keep their page very general. They very rarely, if ever, will plug their product. I don't know why, but this is how they do it. But that's also why I follow them. And then a lot of people just have podcasts. Like if you listen to someone long enough or watch someone on Facebook or Instagram long enough, they'll at some point mention their podcast and then I'll go check it out. Um, sometimes I love them. Sometimes I hate them. I will say the first couple that I listened to Kayla, <laughs> I was like, boy, she is blonde and bubbly. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I can do this, <laughs> which sounds horrible. But again, why not that I need to be blonde and bubbly, but why I was listening to a multimillionaire tell me about my mindset. And I was like, mm, I don't really know if I like her because she's blonde and bubbly. She lives in California. Well, okay. Self chill and take in what you can from this woman because she is where you see yourself, right? That's just being honest. I don't see myself blonde, but I, that's where I would like to be. So sometimes I have to get, it's, we talked about my ego. I'm very upfront about my ego. It gets in the way all the time. <laughs> I have insecurities and they run deep. But um, so sometimes a podcast, if the voice, uh, like I, I have actually not been able to listen to an audible before because the narrator, I'm like, I can't hack the high pitch or the tone or whatever. But, um, but yeah, you'll, there's all kinds of podcasts. And anytime you guys find a podcast that you're like, oh my gosh, this is really good. Like share it in the team page. I always want to find new stuff. So that's all I have. I return them all the time. Yes. I actually reached my limit. Did you know there's a limit on how many books you can return in a certain time period on Audible? <laughs> because I didn't know, I had, I saw that you could return Audible books, but I didn't understand how. Like I was trying to do it from my phone and I couldn't do it from my phone. I had, I had to actually like log in from the computer. And so then when I finally got in there and I was like on the right screen, I was like, oh yeah, I'm like, this one was no good. This one I never listened to. And this, and so I think I did too many at once. I, yeah, you can return them, Sonia. Go into audible.com from your computer and type in how do I return a book and it'll it'll walk you through it. But if it's, I think there's like a certain, I don't know if you've had it for like three years or something, I don't know that you can, but if you've had it within a certain time period, you can return them. Um, Cause you know, I mean, I put, they, yeah, they put me in return jail. Yes, they sure did. Because, and the only reason I even knew that was because I tried to return another one a couple weeks ago and they're, I forgot, kept hitting the button and I was like, why is this doing it? And then I saw some fine print about, I had reached my number or whatever. I was like, well, hell, I guess I have to keep that book. So and live and learn. I'm always living and learning. So anyway, that's what I have. Do you guys have any questions? Did anything come up for double, triple leader retreat? 
any comments, anything about what we talked about? Does this, did this help? Was this, is this good? I mean, I, I just know that um, as women, we can be our worst enemy or we can choose to be our best friend. And sometimes being your best friend is hard because you have to like call your own shit. Like I have to call myself out a lot, a lot, a lot, probably more than I would like to admit. <laughs> but I just, there, you know, like I said, I mean, I, I grew up like, like I think everyone else, like you're jealous of people. Um, thank you, Edie. Like I get jealous of people. So I have to stop myself and be like, okay, A, you're 46 for God's sakes. Like high school's over. Um, this is business, not, I don't know, boyfriend, girlfriend crap. Um, and if you're truly really jealous about it, like why? Well, because that's what I want. Well, if that's what you want, you should shut up and quit wasting your time being jealous and put all that energy into being productive. So I, I have these conversations with myself a lot. Sonia says, you know that I'm always questioning why I'm still doing this because I'm so slow at it. The tortoise won the race, girlfriend. That's a proven fact. I read that and in, in, I actually read that book. <laughs> it's like what, four pages or something <laughs> in the third grade. So, okay, well, I'm gonna put this record. Oh, you, are you trying to say something, Sandra? Yeah. So I had an aha moment last week. So some of these people that she's talking about, these millionaires and what have you, they're going to have their own insecurities and so forth. And, you know, they may talk up something that they've done or whatever, but it's because of an insecurity that they have. Well, it might not be an insecurity of yours. That might be your strong suit. And so there may be th things that you've accomplished and things that you've done that they've never even done before and they may have an insecurity because they may know so and so has done this you know so just because they've got that big whatever we think status they may have insecurities that you know what we don't even we don't have because we're y'all have so many strengths that can be above what what they may even have yep yeah that's the thing like everyone's carrying something that you don't know about. So what you may see in someone and be jealous of, they are looking right back at you. I think I shared a pic, something like, you know, when you look across the room and that lady on the other side of the room and you're like, wow, she's beautiful, she's perfect. You are the lady on the other side of the room to that person. So keep that in mind. You've always got something to offer. Um, Shantae says, I feel like I need an accountability partner. And Sonia says, Shantae, me too. So is it the thing where the two of you should pair up or do you, you, I don't want you both to pair up though, if you're struggling with the same thing, do you know what I mean? Cause that's not going to help. So maybe message me separately and we'll talk about what you feel your struggles are and then we'll figure out who will be a good partner. Cool. Okay. All right. I'll put it on YouTube. I'm sorry. I kept you guys late. Bye.